know, nice, cool morning this morning for a change. We're going to start this morning like I start every morning, it seems like. Or at least it seems lately like I start every morning this way. With a trip to the local parts store to pick up parts for the project. Today, the agenda is to pick up a new master cylinder for the Cougar. And finally, get it 100% on the road. Sometimes these things stick a little bit on the lines, and if you work them out and back, you can get them to free up. Not all the time, but sometimes. And uh, we're hoping for one of those sometimes now. The Lord sees to bless us with it, and that's what we'll get. It looks like. Got it at the time. <clears throat> she was tight, fillers and fillets. been sitting for probably 30 years I guess maybe longer so new master cylinder seemed like a pretty good idea now y'all see me driving it so you know what it can be done out now. Uh, other than being just a little gummed up and crusty, it really doesn't look bad. That is a genuine factory 1967 Ford Mercury uh, dual pot master cylinder and uh, I may I may get in there at some point with my hands and rebuild on her just a little bit just because it is an original one honestly most likely what's going to happen is um i'm going to put it on the shelf to rebuild it at some point and in about five years i'm going to look at it and go what the hell do i keep this for that's pretty much how it's going side by side comparison with the new one and they uh they look pretty much the same so uh yeah, she's in there. The two mounting bolts are. Ooh, my finger moves fast. The two mounting bolts are in there and tight. The lines are not hooked up. And there's somewhere out there, somebody's gonna say, well, You didn't bench bleed your master cylinder before you installed it, then that's an improper way of doing Okay. That's my wife. I can bleed anywhere on anything so 
I'm gonna bench bleed it, but I'm gonna bleed it on the car, bench bleed it on the car, which is the same thing. I just gonna go sit out there with a vise from the, I'm just gonna use the brake pedal and a helper. Chill out, calm down. It's okay. Can we still be friends? I think we can still be friends now, right? So the master cylinder's on. Getting ready to bench bleed it. Uh, <laughs> I started to enter my home to get help to bench bleed this thing. And apparently my wife is doing a video conference. So maybe a minute. But it dawned on me about something. Let's see, three galaxy. 67 Cougar. The 68 Ranch Wagon is right there behind that building. And then, of course, um, the 48 back there that uh, we talked about in the last video. I got a pretty cool driveway for a uh, poor farm kid from Liberty, South Carolina. Uh, growing up uh, with nothing and uh, on a farm and growing our own stuff and it, well you know the deal um, somewhere along the road the Lord truly blessed me in small increments till it's one day you walk out and you look at your yard and go God thank you I've got some cool stuff I've got a pretty cool driveway. Anyway, just thought it hit me. Let's get back to work on this Cougar and uh, get these brakes, uh, this master cylinder bench bled out and uh, get the brakes done on this thing because uh, we got some serious cruising to do. Good for you. Uh, I know you don't. What? I know you don't. Pump it a few times. Okay, so now that it's got what the French call Le Ferme Petel, we will uh, move on to trying to figure out what's going on with the brake lights. I was hoping that maybe there was, this one has a pressure switch on the master cylinder here. And I was hoping that uh, it might be just a little something going on with the master cylinder cause it, but I, still do not have brake lights so i got a good fuse i've got good uh good switch uh so it's got to be something in the back of the car so uh, that's what we'll dig into next whatever engineer designed this needs his asshole removed but in theory i think all this junk is actually working because i have everything now except brake lights i have tag lights, running lights, everything, just no brake lights back here. So, uh, yeah. All right, so I got the master cylinder on. I've got all the lights except the brake lights working. Brakes are all good, bled out. Car's pretty much ready to cruise around in as soon as I get the brake lights done, but I'm not doing it today. Um, I have decided I'm leaving early and we're heading up to the F100 Super Nats. Now, if you want to see full coverage or as much as I can do full coverage of the F100 show uh, in Tennessee, hit the like, subscribe, hit the little bell to get a notification thing because uh, I'm telling you uh, it's going to be worth it's going to be worth the view. Um, so tell your friends about it, share the videos, um, do whatever you need to do. If you've got friends that's into, uh, classic Fords and F100s, then, uh, this next video that goes up will be the one that everybody wants to see. So y'all tune in.